Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your iPhone and more specifically, we're gonna show how to clear your Safari history on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video, not a lot of steps involved with this, but why would you wanna clear your Safari history? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you've been looking at websites you probably shouldn't be looking at, or maybe it's okay if you look at those websites, but somebody in your house probably wouldn't be happy with it. It doesn't really matter. In order to clear your Safari history, it's a pretty easy process. All you wanna do is go here to your your iPhone settings, which is this gear gray icon right here. I'm going to go ahead and click there now. All right, once you click there, then what you want to do is scroll down until you get to the Safari section. So down a little bit further and there it is right there. It's called Safari. It has this blue icon. It looks kind of like a compass. It doesn't really matter. Click on that line right now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. And what you want to do is scroll down a little bit further. Once you scroll down, you're going to come across this blue line right here called clear history and website data. I'm going to go ahead and click on there right now. So as you can see, you get this pop-up and it's going to confirm saying you're clearing the history, cookies, and other browsing data that are associated with your Safari account. I'm not going to clear my history. I just want to show you the steps in order to do that. And basically what that's going to do is when you go to Safari and you go into the search bar, let's say you're going to type in Facebook. Usually Safari is going to automatically populate the websites you've recently been to that match with that first letter. By clearing this, that will avoid that. It's also going to clear the usernames. So if you've been going to a website that you should not be going to and it saved your username and auto populates it, that'll clear it out. So this does make it a little bit more convenient when you go to, actually, I mean, it makes it a little bit more inconvenient when you go to websites that you frequently go to because you're gonna have to re-enter that information in. Also, you will have to type in the full website address on the Safari browser in order to get to that website because all that pre-populate search function will be removed. So there you have it. That is the easiest way I know how to clear the history for your Safari on iPhone. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.